Okay, so um, for this part, we're going to talk about vocabulary, genetic vocabulary, because vocabulary is very important when we talk about genetics. It's very important for you to um, be able to understand the vocabulary and the lingo when we're talking about genetics. Otherwise, you're going to get completely lost. So here's some genetic vocabulary. So vocabulary terms is inheritance or heredity, and this is the genetic transmission of characteristics from parent to offspring, such as hair, eye, and skin color. Now, I know that you guys have probably heard this before. It's fairly common. Oh, you inherited that trait from your mom. Oh, you inherited this trait from your dad. Um, there's a reason why we look like our parents. It's a reason why um, offspring look like their parents, because we inherited their DNA. When they say we inherited their DNA, it was transmitted to us through um, the, the sex cells meeting and so on. Homologous chromosomes. Okay, here are homologous chromosomes. And I know you've heard this word before, but maybe you haven't understood it until now. It's a pair of matching chromosomes in an organism, with one being inherited from from each parent. When we talk about homologous chromosomes, we have chromosomes 1 through 23. Okay, and the 23 pair, the 23rd pair is actually our sex chromosomes, which determine if we're a boy or a girl. Well, we're going to have uh, pairs of each chromosomes, 1 through 22. Or, I'm sorry, 1 through 23. And one we're going to inherit from our mom, and one we're going to inherit from our dad. But they're going to be the same type of chromosome, okay? So, for instance, chromosome uh, number one, we inherit one of these from our mom, and we inherit the other one from our dad. Same with chromosome number two. We inherit one from mom and one from dad. These chromosomes carry on them the exact same genes. And what I mean by the exact same genes is the same type of gene. They might not... They might not be um, they might not be the exact same gene like for instance, your mom might pass down a gene for brown hair color while your dad might pass down a gene for blonde hair color, but they still carry the genes for hair color on them. Autosome. Autosome is a chromosome that is not a sex chromosome. So when we talk about an autosomal chromosome or an autosomal trait, um, we're talking about chromosomes 1 through 22 that are not the sex chromosomes, okay? And this is an example of what a haploid individual would look like because there's only one chromosome for each one of these. Remember, a diploid individual would have two chromosomes. Genotype. Okay. A genotype is, the, these are the genes present in the DNA of, of an organism. When we talk about a genotype, we're looking for, um, and we're talking about the, the DNA present, and we normally use letters to represent this. So there are always two letters in a genotype, because as of a result of sexual reproduction, we get one gene from mom, and we get one gene from dad resulting in two genes for our offspring. Now it's turn now it turns out that there are three possible genotypes. You can have two capital letters like big T, big T, one of each, big T, little T, or you can have two lowercase letters, little t, little t. So since we love vo vocabulary, each possible combo has a term for it. When we talk about homozygous genotype that has two capital or two lowercase letters, we're talking about big T, big T, or little t, little t. And what this means is it has the exact same, uh, the exact same genes in them. It's homozygous. Homo meaning the same. When we talk about um, a homosexual couple, we talk about than two of the same sex partners, just like with homos homozygous, okay? Sometimes the term is also purebred, 
which is used instead of uh, homozygous. Here we have heterozygous. The genotype has one capital letter and one lowercase letter. Hetero means other. So a hetero, um, just like my example before, we talked about um, homo homosexual couples having two same-sex partners. When we talk about heterosexual couple, we have two different sex sex uh, couple. Uh, so a heterozygous genotype can also be referred to as a hybrid. So genotypes, genes present in an organism usually are, as abbreviated, two letters. And this is just, you know, review from what we just talked about. Big T, big T equals homozygous, which equals purebred. Big T, little t equals heterozygous which is a hybrid, and little t, little t is homozygous, which equals purebred. Okay, a phenotype is how the trait physically shows up in the organism, it is the observable traits present in an organism, what the organism looks like. Examples of phenotypes are blue eyes, brown fur, striped fruit, yellow flowers. When we talk about a phenotype, we're talking about a what we can see this trait as. Well, this, um, the reason why we have these phenotypes like brown hair, or blue eyes, is because we can't have a certain genotype. We have certain DNA. But when we want a phenotype, we want the physical appearance of something. So just think of it this way. Phenotype pH, um, physical appearance pH. They both physical starts with a pH, phenotype starts with a pH. Polygenic inheritance is a trait controlled by two or more genes that may be on the same or different chromosomes. Examples of polygenic inheritance is eye color, skin color, and blood group. Polygenic inheritance is um, actually when we have um, when we have more than two traits being, or, I'm sorry, when a trait is controlled by two or more genes. So, um, like we had back here, we have big T, big T, well, big T, big T might code for, like, let's say, tall, all right, uh, big T might code for tall, and then little T might code for small. Well, the, these are two genes and they're determining a trait. Well, sometimes we have like four or five genes controlling one trait. And actually height is a, a good example of polygenic inheritance. We have many, many genes controlling our height. We have many, many genes controlling our eye color. Alleles. Alleles are alternative forms of the same gene. Alleles for a trait are located at corresponding positions on homologous chromosome called loci. So, like I said before, here's a pair of homologous chromosomes. Let's say this is chromosome number one. Okay? And on chromosome number one, we have different genes located on it. Okay? So here we have our different genes. Well, they're going to have maybe the same allele or maybe different alleles. An allele is, you know, an alternative form of the gene. So say this big A codes for uh, blue eyes, all right? Well, let's use B over here. Say this uh, big B codes for brown eyes. This little B might code for blue eyes. It's still the same gene for eye color, but big B versus little B is an they're alternative forms, okay? So here we have another good example of it. Here we have a chromosome from mom, uh, from dad, and here we have a chromosome from mom, and this is for flower color. Well, here's an allele for purple flowers, and here here's an allele for white flowers. They're still located in the same place on the same gene. Uh, I'm sorry, the same place on the same chromosome. They're just two different forms of the gene, so they're diff two different alleles. Purple being one allele, white being another allele.
vocabulary terms. So when we uh, when one allele masks or hides the effects of another allele, that is a, that allele is called dominant, and the hidden allele is called recessive. Dominant alleles are represented by a capital letter, while recessive alleles are represented by a lowercase letter. So what are dominant genes? Dominant genes is when one gene overshadows the other. Okay, so when we have black as dominant and red as not, this black course right here can actually have two different genotypes. Its phenotype is going to be black, but it has two different genotypes. Can you think of what those genotypes might be? Big B, Big B, or Big B, Little B. Because right here, we have two of the same um, alleles. They're both dominant. So, of course, this, this cow is going to be black. Well, here we have a big B and a little B. This big B, which codes for black, and this little B, which codes for red, the big B is going to dominate over the uh, little B, and all we're going to see is black there's only one type of genotype for a red cow and that's going to be little b little b Hereford whiteface is dominant so we're going to have big w big w or big w little w white or not having a white face is actually recessive so there's only one type of genotype for that. And can you think of that? Yes, it's going to be little w, little w. What are dominant genes? So here we have another example. A, hemp, uh, a Hampshire uh, hog, white belt, is dominant. So our only... Um, Genotypes for this, possible genotypes for this, are going to be a big W, big W, and a big W, little W. Whereas not having a white belt is recessive. So that's going to be little W, little W. The only gene that is overshadowed by a dominant gene, that's our recessive gene. Uh, a recessive genes can only be expressed if both of the genes are recessive. So only they're only expressed if we only have the recessive genes present. Horned is recessive to poles, okay? So here we have dominant big P, big P, or big P, little p. And here we have recessive, little p, little p only. Black wool is recessive to white wool. Well, that's going to give us big W, big W, or big W, little w. Here we have black, and that's going to be recessive. So our only option for that would be little w, little w. What are recessive genes? Dwarfism is recessive to average size. So, big D, big D, or big D, little d for this guy, the average size guy. But recessive would be little d, little d only. Albino is a recessive to pig, uh, pigmented. So that would mean what? That this this girl would have what type of genotype, and this girl would have what type of genotype. 